Hey guys, and today as a bonus to the husband tag, we are going to also do the high school sweethearts tag. Daily Bumps did it on Misty's channel, and I think there's like a like two other people that have done this tag, but I saw it and I was like, that is so cute. I want to do it. And since you guys won the husband tag, I was like, oh. <laughs> the husband tag. I thought you guys would think it would be fun if we did the high school sweethearts tag. And then we read the questions and we're like, we actually can't answer most of these, but we're going to do it our own way. So. It's like these are, these are questions for high school sweethearts that went to the same school. That didn't meet on the interwebs. How old were we when we met? 17. 17. Wait, 15. We met online at 15. Then we decided to meet in person at 17. Mm -hmm. And he decided. I feel like you decided. Because you were finally like, let's meet on this day. I didn't really have much of a choice. You had already laid it out. So it wasn't like we were avoiding each other. It was just like really scary because nobody met online back then. Well, they did, but then it was always on 2020. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? It was to catch a predator. It was like all you ever saw. Was that in high school or after? That Not was, even. That was way after. Yeah, so it was like you get murdered pretty much. So it was risky. It was risky back in early 2000. Like literally 2000, 2001. Um, what class did we meet in? Computer class. <laughs> wait, how did... Wait, what... Tell them, what, tell them where you messaged me on. AOL, Instant Messenger. Some of you youngins won't know nothing about that. Cause like, do they even still have that? They have be like Yahoo. Probably. But like, the only way you met friends on AOL Instant Messenger, besides your friends at school, they're like, this is my messenger name. Cause we didn't have text. So that was like so cool that you could message people without actually having to call them. Cause texting was... Or really page them some cryptic... <laughs> Well, te they had texting, but it was like a dollar a text. And, like, I would have got murdered if I had been, like, texting all this stuff. So, yeah, we met on AOL. And we don't know how he got my screen name. That's, like, still a mystery to us. Because the only, like I was saying, the only way you could get someone's screen name is if you knew them or you met them in an AOL chat room. Because, like, that's what we would do. We'd go into AOL chat rooms and, like, talk to people. And they had chat rooms based on your area, chat rooms based on, like, music or, like, teenage chat rooms and stuff like that. So he still doesn't remember where he got it from. I certainly don't remember ever seeing him in a chat room. And he just randomly AM'd me and I was like, who is this guy? What does he want? What's he doing? And then we started talking and yeah, here we are. Um, how did your parents react? How do you want to answer that? My dad gave him an application to date my daughter. No, <laughs> my parents loved him. Like, they were like, oh, no tattoos, no piercings, no blue hair. <laughs> he combs his hair. Like, <laughs> it doesn't say much for the guys I dated before. No, I didn't. They weren't all crazy looking. God forbid any of my exes ever see this. They didn't all look crazy. Um, but how'd your parents react? I mean, they didn't really. They didn't. Maybe a slight bit of surprise that I would bring someone home so soon, but we already kind of knew each other well like, enough from talking online that... But I was like their only impression they ever got of a girl he brought home because that was his like first girlfriend. Yeah, I never brought girlfriends home. Nope. But, so, what else? Oh, and how, they're this isn't the question, but they are. we didn't tell our parents that we met online because it was literally so... And I don't know what we were scared of. Obviously, we weren't serial killers, but I guess we were worried they'd be like, you did what? <laughs> Literally, I think we told them once we were engaged four years later. So, and it's funny because my dad's wife, not my mom, my mom passed away, but my dad met his wife on MySpace. So, really shouldn't have been worried about what my dad had to think because apparently, well, now it's more acceptable. But back then, he would have been like, what? But yeah, it's funny now to think that like what we were so scared to tell our parents, my dad's actually done is what I'm trying to say. So, um, how, oh, did people take your relationship? Did do, did do, did do, did do people take your relationship seriously? People did do not 
they do now. They didn't then. I think now still they still kind of wait for like something's got to happen. We told them they couldn't they couldn't get married that young. We told them they wouldn't last. Why are they still married? <laughs> I don't think anyone takes high school relationships seriously. I think we will with our kids because I mean that really could be someone they married, right? Mm -hmm. But I don't think we will did do. We will did do. We will did do take it seriously. <laughs> But I don't think in general people take high school sweethearts seriously. I don't think so. Like everybody, like not necessarily, like our family wasn't like, don't get married, like in that aspect. I think they were just telling us to be very cautious and be realistic. And like even on, before my dad walked me down the aisle, he was like, if either of you guys think this is like too, too soon or you're nervous or you have any doubts, we'll just have a big party. And I was like, dad, can we not have this talk before you walk me down the aisle? Like, this is, <laughs> I think that they were just wanted us to know that what we were doing usually doesn't work out for people. Yeah. So, um. Your dad was trying to hand you the reserve chute. Yeah. <laughs> I think, yeah. <laughs> but it's funny because there was a lot of people that I worked with at the time. I was a preschool teacher that were like, you're not going to make it past five years. I think like he had heard that kind of stuff from people too. So on our five year wedding anniversary, we went to Vegas and renewed our vows with Elvis. And it was awesome, wasn't it? You were weirded out about it and then you really liked it, right? Yeah, but I mean, that's kind of how I am with a lot of things. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> like, like YouTube. Yeah. Okay. So, did we ever skip school together? I didn't. I mean, I skipped school to like go see him, but he was already like, he graduated early because he is so smart. And you are, he's so smart, they graduated him early. And then he's so cool that he was like, just mail me my diploma, I don't need to go walk. <laughs> he's just always been like his own person and he didn't care about stuff like that. He cared about like getting a job and you know, being an adult, a smart adult. So, I'm very proud of him because he's so smart. <laughs> um, did we have a favorite lunch spot? Nope. Not applying to us. But we did have a favorite restaurant we would always go to in high school, Marco's. Mm -hmm. And he actually took my parents there um, on my 21st birthday. I, my sister took me out to keep me distracted. And he took my parents there. And that's where he asked them if he could marry me. I really, like, to this day, I appreciate so much that you took my mom, too. About to cry. Yeah. <laughs> my mom passed away when I was 22, so I'll always be so grateful that he took her and let her be a part of that. So, did you go to prom together? Yep. Your yep. prom. My prom. He never went to dance dances. Never, ever, ever. And he was already graduated when his prom came around, so we didn't have a junior prom at my school. So, all we had was senior prom because we were a broke, poor school that's all I'll say so the thing is I could have gone to private school but it's, it's like this is digressing but since this is a high school tag I feel like I need to talk about this my parents did an amazing job they saved all they had it sent their three kids to private school from pretty much first grade to eighth grade and then it was time to graduate my brother ended up going to a private school my parents tried to send me to a private school um and I was like no 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 I'm not going to private school. I'm done with these uniforms. I'm done with these judgmental people because the school I went to was like terrible. They were so mean. It's in like we've talked about sending our kids to Catholic school, but like the school we want to send them to, I've like gone and watched and like looked for things that like, yeah, that like really messed with me as a kid. And they do all these things at that school. Like they don't let them sit together at lunch with their friends they have to rotate so, so like they help keep these cliques from forming all the kids are like friends it's not like as terrible as it was when I went to school but so it's like uh-uh I want to go to public school my dad was like fine you're gonna go to school at this place and it was inside the city limits of where he is a police chief and I was like uh-uh 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 I'm not going there because everybody's gonna be like chief's daughter I don't want that. I want to have a good high school experience. So they thought they would scare me. 
and they sent me to a really rough school. It's even been on CNN. Like, that's how rough it was. Shootings, stabbings, they thought they would just scare me. I think this was their plan. And then I'd be like, oh my god, I want to go back to private school. But I was like, oh my god, I love it! I love it so much. So, anyways, the school could not afford two proms. We got one prom and he went with me. is really great about going to prom with your high school sweetheart that you later then marry is that when your kids go to prom and they think they want to be grown and do grown things you can be like let's keep in mind that we married our prom dates okay okay just keep that in mind when you think you want to be grown and get a hotel room all right so i'm really surprised they never find us for that what the bubble bath in the hot tub Shh. <laughs> We didn't do anything great. We had like, we got what we thought was like a fancy suite, but looking back, it was really not that great. But I mean, for us in high school, it was cool. We had all our friends come over and we didn't even drink, but you would have thought we were drunk. We took like crazy pictures. We, I think we were on a sugar high. We like, we weren't those kids that like went to parties and got wasted and stuff like that. No. So, I mean, like, we had a good time with our friends and it had like a jacuzzi tub in it. So we like filled it with um bubble bath and turned on the the jacuzzi thing well my friend called and i don't remember where we were so we're just gonna end it with yeah we went to prom we had fun we were good kids except we uh exploded the bubble bath giant garden tub with bubbles Whoops. and might have ruined the filter system other than that we were really good kids um so uh did you go to prom together? We already did that. How long did you date before getting engaged or married? Three years? Four years? We Just dated three years, three years and got engaged. We got married on our four-year anniversary. And um, how long have you been married or engaged? Well, we've been engaged for... 10 years and we've been married for nine years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, get engaged for, yeah. Our, ten, right. our 10th anniversary is this year. Yeah. Well, no, we already. Our 10th anniversary is the end of this year. Our, yeah, our 10th wedding anniversary. Our engagement anniversary, if that's a thing, was it 10 years this I was past just trying. Time. I was just trying to be funny. Oh. It didn't really work. No, because my mind's like, right now. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tag, and we'll see you later. Bye. Let us know if you want to do any other weird stuff. Within reason. Within reason. Oh, my God, look. I look like I'm something from Grimm. Yeah. Uh, Bauer Schwein. Bauer Schwein, yeah. <laughs>